What's up guys, it's Cam coming at you from the 2-6. Welcome back to Carolina Fragrance Reviews. Yep, it's that time. I know some of you have already got your top 10 designer fragrance list out, so I guess it's about time I break them out. Let's get into this. I was trying to hold this list off just a little bit because uh, it's still pretty much kind of hot here in North Carolina, but uh, let's go ahead and get this list out so I can try to turn you guys on to something good. My first fragrance, Valentino Womo Intense. I actually like the opening and the dry down of this better than DHI. I know you probably want to shoot me for that, but I like what I like and I've got to be honest with you, this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna be picking over DHI for fall, where DHI, I dig a little bit more when it's actually like colder into the winter. Not a massive difference between the two fragrances, but I just like wearing this one in the fall for whatever reasons. So this is gonna have like a soft leather note or maybe even like a suede note mixed with that iris and it's going to be more of like that lipsticky iris. And it also is gonna have some leather, tonka bean and vanilla and you really start picking up that vanilla as it starts to dry down. Now I'd describe this fragrance as smooth, sexy, something that you would wear when you're dressed up, date night fragrance. Just make sure that your girl likes Iris. Or you could just always surprise her. You know, just, I'm just saying. Coming in at number nine is a fragrance I picked up last year and I didn't wear it a whole lot, so I was doing some testing during times that <laughs> eh, not the perfect time to wear like a really woody fragrance, but it also does have some bright citrus notes on the top. I'm talking about Bagari Man Wood Essence. This fragrance is a straight up banger. The dry down on this is absolutely amazing. I think this is kind of a slept on fragrance. I have seen you know, people post it in Facebook once in a while, maybe on Instagram every blue moon. Uh, yeah, people are sleeping on this fragrance. It's really, really good, especially for this time of year. I guess and that dry down on this is just absolutely magical. This opens up with some citrus and some sage. You also get some cypress wood and some vetiver. And then you're gonna round that woodiness off with a really nice cedar wood. This is just a really masculine fragrance. If you like those woody fragrances, this is going to be really, really nice. Now it's not gonna have like that pencil shavings vibe or lumber yard vibe, like let's say like Gucci Pour Homme or Bentley for Men Absolute. You know, that's like that real man's man, oh, 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 you know, Tim the Tool Man type wood fragrance. Where this one is, you know, this one's a little more tame. Younger guys can get away with wearing this. Just a really sexy, manly fragrance. Coming in at number eight is from Jean Paul Gaultier. This one is Essence de Parfum. This is an excellent, inexpensive leather fragrance. This smells like a really high quality leather. I'm not talking about like super high quality, but for what it is, I dig it. And it definitely like pulls compliments. It's got really good performance. It does take a very hard turn from the original DNA from Lamal, but that's okay. This is perfect for fall, right on into winter, you know, mildly cool weather to right on into you know, frigid weather. This is outstanding. This has a nice but subtle note of cardamom. You also get some citruses mixed with some lavender and then of course that leather. I really, really dig this fragrance. Uh, I'm not saying it's for everybody. I know some people that aren't really crazy about this. So just make sure that you sample before you buy. The perfect place that I always go to sample before I buy is today's sponsor www.myfragrancesamples.com enter my personal discount code CFR15 to get 15% off and that is a good way to show your support to companies that show their support to this channel. Coming in at number seven, wow. <laughs> this is gonna be another fragrance I'm gonna have to hype. It is another one from Banana Republic. This time it is tobacco and tonka bean. 
Wow, this is such a great fragrance for you know $33 to $35. Y'all know how I love linen vetiver. Linen vetiver will get me by for a spring and summer, and then tobacco and tonka beans gonna get me by for a fall and winter. If I had to do that, I legitimately might could do it. I don't want to say I'd do it, somebody like make me, but uh, if I had to, I think that I could. There's a juicy pear note in here mixed with some coconut. Wrap your head around that <laughs> with the tobacco leaves and the tonka bean. Oh man, such a great fragrance. And it also has a really nice note of vanilla. So, you know, vanilla and tobacco does what? Goes together like peas and carrots. To be completely honest with you, I mean, really for, for what this smells like, for, you know, what you pay, this is really, really good. I mean, legitimately, this could be thrown like in a, a, a much more expensive bottle and sell for a higher price. So leaving a fragrance at number seven that I think a lot of you would like, I'm gonna go to number six to a fragrance that you might be a little divided on. It is Moschino Toy Boy. Now this was one of the more impressive releases or designer releases of 2019. I felt that this was really thinking outside the box. As far as designers, you know, a lot of them are kind of playing it safe. They were a little daring on this one. As a matter of fact, you'll get more of my thoughts right here at this link. So not only were they daring with the fragrance, they were daring with the ad campaign. They just really just went outside the box, you know, just said, screw it. We're just going to go balls out, literally, and do something different. This is going to have notes of bergamot and clove buds. Now, when I say clove buds, I know some of you are gonna be like, I don't know, so yeah. Uh, this one does have a little bit more of a significant clove bud note in it, so if you're not a fan of clove buds, uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna work for you, I say try it. But it also has rose in here, which could be another complicated thing for some of you. And then it's got some vetiver. And it's going to be more of a more of an earthy vetiver versus like a you know like a green vetiver. Now this fragrance was marketed as a men's fragrance, but I do feel that it leans a little bit unisex. I actually know a couple of women who love wearing this fragrance. I would say that this is really kind of dipping into like niche quality for a designer price, and the price of this has actually come down just a little bit from when it was released last year. Coming in at number five, I actually knew that something from this line was going to be in my fall lineup. This is a fragrance that doesn't get talked about. The line does. It's Armani Code, and it is A-List. I come like this this is close to going ahead and breaking out the absolute but um alias i'm digging it i've been wearing it here lately and i'm just i'm really really digging this it does have that you know that original dna this very very present but this has like i don't know i don't know what it is about this uh, this is as far as like the closest to the original code dna you know, without deviating, you know, in a severe way, you know, of course they've come out like with Profumo and Absolute. Those are so, so good. But A-List is just a banger, straight up banger. Some of the notes in this are gonna be bergamot, green mandarin, tonka bean, and guayac wood. If code was like the backstage pass, the A-List would be you know exactly it you know that's the, the a-list they pick the hook up off the little thing and then you you know you go red carpet that's that's this that's that dressed up black tie affair and if you're trying to you know get your game on i would highly suggest this one coming in at number four i almost broke out the Preve, but i think i'll save that for winter and let's go for fall with one million lucky yeah i guess that is kind of predictable but i like what i like of course this one is sweet gourmandish sexy as all get out just mass appealing compliment garnering monster like you would not believe amazing performance amazing projection notes of grapefruit plum nutmeg you know the deal it just absolutely works there have been a few of my friends who have just recently started whiffing on this and they're like, oh, yeah, Cam, I know what you meant by that. So yeah, I will claim it. It's a fantastic fragrance. My absolute favorite from the 1 million line of Pocket Ripple. 
Coming in at number three, I don't think that I have ever featured this fragrance on this channel before, but I absolutely adore this fragrance and how it has not been featured is beyond me. The ladies love it. It's inexpensive and it's sexy AF. It is Burberry London. <laughs> The very first time I bought this fragrance was at the outlet malls in Smithfield. It was like a girlfriend from a long time ago. Just like I had sprayed this on. She's like, you need to get that and like wear that later. And I was like, yes, ma'am. Sure enough, I got you. I will hook you right up. So this fragrance is sexy, seductive. It's like a must have staple for fall and winter, but I am digging this for fall this year. It also is great for the cold weather, you know, around the holidays. There's just something about it that's just, you know, brings like football games, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, everything that we should be looking forward to. So yeah, the fragrances will help transport us there. Some of the notes in this one are lavender, cinnamon, leather, and tobacco. Wow, what a masterpiece, a masculine masterpiece that you can buy for 20 freaking bucks. Don't sleep on London. If you are, if you aren't, you know, whatever the deal is, those who know, know. Coming in at number two is a spicy, masculine, sexy, beastly fragrance that just absolutely has to be in these types of lists this time of year. Of course, I am talking about the Spice Bomb Extreme. Now, I like the original Spice Bomb, but Spice Bomb Extreme just seems to have the consensus that everybody likes it the best. It definitely just, you know, just enhanced the hell out of the original DNA. It's just in your face. It performs. It's, you know, it's one of those fragrances that people either are going to choke when they smell it or be like, damn, what you got on player? Or damn, baby, what you wearing? Yes, yeah, that type of fragrance. It's sexy to those who like it and nauseating to those who don't. Lucky for me, I like it and most of the people around me enjoy it as well. So this has some citrus, some vanilla, some black pepper, some cinnamon, and some tobacco. This is, yeah, this is a man's man's fragrance. You know, if you've got a big old set of cojones, homes, this is the fragrance for you. Coming in at number one, yes, I guess you could say predictive programming. <laughs> yeah. This is in everybody's list for a reason. It is from Teddy Mugler. It is Amen Pure Havan. Whoa. Tobacco and honey, baby. You know what to do. Just so, so good. This has got some cacao, some patchouli. It's, oh man, it's just such a great, great fragrance. This is like the one that, ah, you know, like people go back and forth between Pure Malt and Pure Havan. So Pure Havan for fall, Pure Malt for winter, or this for fall and winter, whichever. And I've actually been wearing some uh, Pure Tonka here lately too. That's just like such a banger. And you can't find it anywhere. I don't know what it is with the Amen line. They will come out with like so many dope flankers and then like, yeah, if you want it now, you pay $300, player. Thank God they have kept Pure Havan and Pure Malt. This is dark, it's sexy, it's sweet, it's seductive, date night fragrance, you know, attention grabbing fragrance. Just an absolute must have staple from the Amen line for fall or for winter. But being we're in the fall, yeah, let's just stick around for fall. Let it do what fall is going to do. And then we'll worry about those winter fragrances. So I tried to change things up a little bit for you guys. And these are fragrances that I am currently test driving and wearing and plan on wearing as it gets colder. We have had a few cooler nights. Thank God. I'm loving it. But uh, yeah, more hot weather still in the forecast. Let me know down in the comments what your top 10 or what your favorite designer fragrance to wear in the fall is. Until next time, I'll see you on Carolina Fragrance Reviews.